Uh, Kiefer Riley Johnson says, which Batman villain outside of the Joker do you believe could maintain their own book? Well, Catwoman had her own book successfully for a while, but I think you mean others. Uh, Rachel Ghoul, to me, is the really the only Batman villain. I mean, I'd love to write a Bane monthly. I think Bane could carry a monthly, uh, but that would all rely on story and, and the rest of it. Um, I mean, what I'm saying is if I were writing the Bane monthly, it would be good. <laughs> I don't know if another writer, uh, any writers that they have currently working at DC understand the depth of the character enough to make it carry a monthly. Um, to come up with the stories. You just can't keep retelling Nightfall over and over and over again. You actually have to come up with new stories. Uh, so Bane, for the you know common comic book writer, doesn't have the built-in background. Certainly not the built-in background that Ra's al Ghul does. I mean, my God, he's immortal. So he's been around since, what, the time of the cons? So there's all those stories. It's all that back history. Plus, he's continuously trying to conquer the world. That's a great story in itself. And he's got issues with his daughter. You know, there's just a lot going on with Rachel Gould. Like, he'd make an excellent monthly book, I think. Um, and you could even never, ever have his story touch on Batman. Uh, and still, he's one of the few villains who that's true of. I mean, what is the Riddler, the Joker, the Penguin, if there's not a Batman to contrast against? I mean, they're not... Interesting. Ra's al Ghul is interesting on his own. Uh, he would never even have to intersect. He, you could have your own Ra's al Ghul universe. Um, I'm probably giving DC ideas here, or maybe not, because not only do they mostly not have good ideas, they don't recognize good ideas when they hear them. Uh, so yeah, Ra's. Short answer, Ra's al Ghul. 